Hi there, Will Rice with the Tips team, bringing you another quick tip. Today we'll be talking about a new app that's been added to many of our Chromebooks with the last few Chrome OS updates, and that is a built-in locally recording camera app. After students have logged into a Chromebook, or staff for that matter, simply navigate down to the launcher, click in the search bar. If you don't see the camera app appear already, you may just not have used it before. Simply type camera and the icon will appear. Clicking on the icon will launch the camera app. This app allows the user, student or staff, to record video, photos, square photos, or even a new scan feature, which we'll get to in a second. If students or staff require the ability to quickly capture an image using the built-in web camera on a Chromebook, they can simply open the camera app, center the picture as needed, and either click on the Take Photo button on the right or press the space bar. As you can see, I was able to quickly take several pictures in quick succession. While these pictures are easy to take, the webcam in the Chromebook was not designed for photography in mind, so these pictures may turn out a little bit uh, grainy or underlit. So taking pictures in well-lit areas is probably the best idea. As you saw, clicking in the preview button in the bottom right will take you to the picture you've just taken to take a look at it and decide if you need to retake it. In addition, this new scan feature has been added. The idea with this is the ability to take a document such as this uh, graph or chart, hold it up to the screen. As you can see, it's attempting to color correct and scan the edges of the document. Pressing the space bar will again do a capture of that image. In this case, as you can see again, the quality may not be the best, but if you need to do a scan and get something to a student, or a student needs to scan something at home and get it to you, this is a quick, easy way to get that done. In addition to being able to save this as a photo, you also now have the option to save it as a PDF. After saving a document as a PDF, the student can then open that document by clicking on the gallery on the side again, and will be able to check it for orientation to make sure it's in the right orientation. They will be able to do some basic editing. As you can see here, they have access to a pen where they would be able to, for example, add their name or other information. Note, annotating with a mouse is very difficult, so this should be usually done on a touchscreen device. Or they could even use the highlighter in order to highlight sections of the document if they needed to draw your attention to something. They could then click the download button to download a copy of this with their changes. Additionally, Chrome OS is able to access additional cameras. If the students have access to a higher quality webcam at home, they could use this camera to do this digitization. Or if in the classroom, you could uh, allow students to use the IPVO document camera that you may have available in your classroom. I'll plug in an IPVO here and we'll see how it looks. As we can see here, as soon as I plug the IPVO camera in, we are provided with a new option over here on the left, and that is the switch camera button. I'll click this. As you can see now, instead of going directly to my um, instead of going to my webcam built into the Chromebook, it is now using the document camera on the side. I'm still in the scanning mode, so as you can see, it is doing its best to try and scan this. If we allow it to finish autofocusing, we can again press space, and it will now take and process that image again. As you can see, it did some document correction because I did not have the piece, the camera set perfectly horizontally. Let's take that again. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a better angle on this document. As you can see, when provided with a dark background, it does a much better job in the scanning feature. Let's go ahead and click the space bar again to capture this. 
As you can see, we now have a much better document ready to go. It did extend the page a little bit, but it's a little bit sharper and a little bit easier to see. Again, I'll click this as Save as PDF. From this point, students would be able to come into this PDF and share it with you either by uh, downloading it and emailing it to you, downloading it and adding it to Google Classroom as, an assign as part of an assignment, or print it and send it in. If the student has closed the camera app, but still needs to find that um, image that they've taken, they can simply go back to the launcher, select files or type files if they have not been able to find it yet, click on that and open the files app. And right here at the top, we'll see the camera collection. This is much like photos on your iPad or your uh, pictures in your uh, Windows Explorer. From here, we can see all the captures we've done and from here we have a couple of options. As your students may not always have access to the same devices, it is always recommended that they take any of the things they would like to ensure they keep by selecting them and dragging them into their drive, which will upload them to Google Drive and ensure they have access to them across multiple devices. Again, from there, they can email those docs, share them with you, or add them as part of an assignment in Google Classroom. As with all these cameras, and settings may require some playing to get them to turn out the product that you would like. So do invest some time in practicing with this type of digitization using the camera app on a Chromebook um, and perhaps show the students how to do this so they will be prepared if they need to use it in the future. Lastly, this is also a great way for students to collect images of uh, experiments or work that they've completed if they'd like to add that to a Google presentation or Google document. It's a quick and easy way for students to create their own art and digitize it in the classroom. I hope you found this tip useful, and if you need more information, as always, visit our website at tips.epsp.ca or reach out to any member of the TIPS team.